Yo, these African niggas got me caught up in some shit. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this fucking log is right here. Look at this. They say it's medicine. <laughs> so, you know, I ran into a little scenario, man. I ran into a situation, man. Y'all gonna get some real African knowledge real quick about some shit that I ain't never read in no goddamn books. And I know y'all niggas ain't gonna read it in no books. Now, I just met a man who states he comes from a multiplicity of tribes. So, you wanna give the people your name? Yo, man, yeah. You meet Weston. Weston, okay. From Ghana, in Hong Kong. From Ghana? Yeah. Yeah, and, and he's wearing some goddamn, some and rich ass glasses. You want you guys to. Yeah, you see how the niggas dress? Come to Africa, man. Yeah, oh, come, come to Africa. Yeah, come to the roots. I mean, y'all need. The roots of the world. Yeah, y'all need to come yeah, save our asses yeah. from Africa. Y'all left us on Every the ship. Black nigga. Is an African. Why didn't y'all defend us, man? <laughs> I need to ask that question. Reach down in your soul, try and find somebody from the 1700s in your soul. When the white man snatched our asses up, why didn't you come get a nigga, man? How can we go? Huh? <laughs> no, man, you got to be game by history. <laughs> Look at Greece. Yeah. The Helen, of Tro the Helen of Troy War? Yeah, yeah. They went to war for a bitch. Yeah. For one bitch. Mm -hmm. yeah. They took thousands of lives, nigga. Uh -huh. How many bitches did they take from y'all tribes and from, from Africa? <laughs> didn't the nigga do shit? Why not? Hmm? But now you know civilization, everybody know the history. Yeah, I'm not gonna bullshit. Yeah. There was plenty of wars and there was plenty of defense up in Africa during the course of the slave trade. I do know this. I was just, you know, putting a little hee hee ha ha. Killed one guy. Huh? In Florida. Oh man, come on man. That happens in America all yeah. the time, dog. But the, the niggas killed free. niggas, white people killed niggas. So the fuck what? You're collateral damage. You're disposable, nigga, because none of you bitch niggas in America gonna do nothing about it. Walk around wearing some goddamn hoodies. This nigga got shot up in a hoodie, so all these bitch ass niggas gonna wear a hoodie and think some shit gonna get done. You see, you need to stop watching the Masonic tactics, cause that bullshit was implemented during the 1960s with that hippie shit. That whole protest and holding the sign bullshit. Nigga, the original American energy or any energy coming from any civilization on this planet, we will drag your monkey ass out the house and burn you the fuck up. That's what happens. Uh-oh, they're getting the directions down. I don't know what the fuck they're going to do. It's in the system, man. They ain't, they ain't got no goddamn books open, putting no concoctions together like y'all niggas be doing. Okay. Hey, so, um, you said you're part of two tribes. Yeah, man, yeah. How did that happen? How did that happen? Yeah, like... like from a mother from a different tribe. What tribe is that? Iwi. Iwi? Yeah. Never heard of that one. Yeah. Uh, where is in that? The region. In the Volta? Yeah. Of Ghana? Ghana, yeah. Okay, and what's the other one? What's your my father? Dad, my dad is Kotokoli. Kotokoli? Yeah. I said that right? Yeah. Oh, so that was, I said yeah. that I got some African tongue, y'all. Yeah. Got it right so, the first you know, time. But we, we are united. We are together. The tribes are together? Yeah, yeah. So We go along, you know? So yeah. are they similar in their writings and similar in their rituals and similar in, in that fashion and clothing as well? And, and you know? Yeah. In terms of clothes, you have similar. But just the language is different. Mm -hmm. But we understand each other. We have one common language. Oh, okay. That's right. I know Africans speak like three, four languages by majority rule. So they're a neighboring tribe, basically. Right. So the octaves in your language is along the same line. Yeah. Okay. So um, in tribes, we have the king and queen, and we also have the witch doctor as well. And the, and the witch doctor is like damn near a prince, but not you the have, prince. You have to say uh, priest, priest. Oh, no, I said a prince. He be his position yeah. would be considered like treated like a prince if we was to refer it or correlate it with a European style of rule, right? Mm -hmm. Would you state that? Am I right on that? He would get treated like almost royalty, noble oh, yeah, status, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, the witch yeah, doctor, yeah. right? So, in the courses of a marriage, the witch doctors have say. Now, there's only one witch doctor per tribe, correct? In, in every community, right, we have like a king, you know, mm -hmm. and we have district king, we have paramount king, you know. Mm -hmm. So the king are like division, you know, right? The big king, lower king, depending on the district, depending on the district, yeah. So you'll have, oh, like, and is, is that because of extensive rule, yeah? Like, for example, in Volta region, uh huh, Volta region have so many districts inside Volta region, right, and like. Hawaii district alone, they mm -hmm. have one big paramount chief. 
mm -hmm. who control the whole district, mm -hmm. and they have a subdivision kings for each of the districts. Yeah, yeah, again, yeah, you know, right, yeah. and the subdivision kings. And go to the big king yeah. if there's a serious right, issue right, that needs right, to be right, handled. Right. right, right. So we don't got fucking senators yeah. and House of Representatives yeah. and councilmen and papers that need to be passed, all that bullshit. Yeah. We got one nigga that's the guard. Yeah. This nigga, if something gets too big where he can't handle it on spiritual level, physical level, mental level, he has to go to the higher up. Right, right. The motherfucker at the top right. of the tree with his eyes rolled in the back of his head, right? Exactly. See? Oh, the power chief. Exactly. Yeah. And you see how they sh sh shaking their head when I said the nigga at the top of the tree with his eyes rolled in the back of his head. Y'all motherfuckers don't understand that shit yet. You see, that's a high level of witch doctor shit. Now, let me add, let's go in a little bit about the des descriptions of a witch doctor. Witch doctors, as we use the word doctor, take care of all the medicine mm. of the tribe, correct? Now, let me ask you about this. Since this is in an area that's really exposed about tribes, how does the sexual... Is there rules on sexual relations? The rules on sexual yeah, relations? Yeah, like, is, like, okay, like, in between man and woman, can you do whatever the fuck you want to in your hut? There are rules. There are rules. Like what rules? Especially in most of the other communities mm -hmm. that children have to be some age mm -hmm. and get close to a man. You understand? By just this modern generation, the Western mentality mm -hmm. is polluting many people's mind, mm -hmm. and they are losing their culture. Mm -hmm. You understand? But people in the indigenous area, mm -hmm. they still practice the mm -hmm. indigenous culture. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the area or the city. Right, because I've uh, read in right. some information that states um, that states um, um, they would allow teenagers and children around 15, 16 to do their thing up until that age around 15, 16, you know, playing and learning your whole sexual nature and all that other shit, and then experiencing women at the same time, but then would not get married until later on. But they would only do that until the age is 15, 16, and then that's just chilled off of. You know what I'm saying? As you're a child, you have a lot more energy and a lot more curiosity during the whole sexual shit. Is that right or wrong? And that, that information I was reading about was the tribe that uh, Mandela comes from. Mandela, in South Africa. Yeah. Zulu, Zulu? Zulu. No, not yeah. Zulu. He don't come from the Zulu tribe. Uh, he comes from another tribe uh, that starts with a T. I was reading about it in his book. And then when I was researching the tribe on the internet, there was like Nelson Mandela comes from this tribe as well. Uh, so it could be a subdivision of the Zulu tribe because the Zulu tribe is... Do they have sub... Do the Zulu or any large tribe like Zulu have subdivisions that's under them? I'm pretty sure they'll yeah. be... Of different names? Yeah, should be. It, it does break down big. like that? Zulu is more big. This is right. There'll be some... Subdivisions. Some of them do. Yeah. So you have to have a certain power and a certain manpower to be able to do that. Right. Okay. Okay. Now, as we got some right here, let me ask you something about the magic room. Now, see, because these motherfuckers don't know shit about no African magic realm. I and I'll be trying to tell them that shit, but they don't be hearing what the fuck I'll be saying. Now, let's talk about the music before we even get to herbs and all that other shit. In Africa, when it comes to the drum being made, is it a specific family inside the tribe that makes the drums? Yeah. It's have, only one family. Yeah, and no people. other family can do it. Yeah, it's, it's like... They have people who who do uh, what do you call uh, uh, ghost meat. Mm -hmm. Ghost meat should, yeah. should be in one family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From generation to generation. generation you yeah. understand? What do, what, do, what, do you mean, what do you mean by that? What do you like, mean? Like ghost meat. Mm -hmm. You know ghost meat? Ghost meat. Ghost meat? Yeah. What do you mean? The people who use uh, fire and make uh, like you have blacksmith. Black, you have blacksmith. People who make gold jewelry. Oh, blacksmith. Yeah. Blacksmith. Okay, yeah. you're saying a goldsmith. Yeah. <coughs> it's a blacksmith, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It has to come from generation to generation. generation. Yeah. Right. They and have to they have the power to do this kind of stuff. Right, right. it's yeah. in their blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, That's like like inheritance. what I'm doing now. Uh-huh. This this one it comes from my Family, family generation, yeah. so like generation. right? They inherit it. So, so, so even water. If I take water and do this, it will happen on what I want to do. 
Because it's in your system. Because exactly. your great 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 yeah, great great exactly. grandma was doing like, the same yeah, fucking yeah, shit. Because this right. one, this this stuff, mm-hmm. you know, you mm-hmm. see, this mm-hmm. stuff, mm-hmm. this cup is a concoction like twenty different kind of trees. Mm-hmm. In Africa. What about in jungle? What about that one right there? How many different shits is up in there? This one is a soap. Uh huh. It's a soap from a, a certain tree. See, these niggas wouldn't take no shit and wash their ass with no shit looking like that, man. <laughs> right. This shampoo. They would not do it. Yeah, shampoo, suave, suave. Chemical, too much yeah. chemical. Dial, dial. That's what they use. That's what they use. So, it's kill your spirit. Right. So, we go to the drum. Let's talk about the drum some more. So, we talk about the drum now. Yeah. It's a specific family out of the tribe, and no other, tri- no other family in that tribe can make the drum, right? Yeah, like... Yeah. But, see, but see, that family may have the permission to draw the designs on that drum, and then sometimes they won't. Somebody else has to draw the symbols yeah. on it, huh? There'll be a whole family just for symbols, right. Right? right? Okay, now let me ask you this. The wood of the drum goes through a specific process, mm-hmm. does it not? Right. Yeah. The What's skin, the skin, and depending on what type of ritual, there's different skins right. Right. on the drums, I correct? Not like that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, I don't. I don't gotta like it. I don't like it. Mm. Uh, no, I don't. I don't even gotta like it. No. No, I don't got one in there. Okay. But, um, so this, so different skins would be used for different yeah. rituals, right? Different skins, yeah. And, and sometimes these skins have to be aged in different ways, whether they be buried, whether they be sun-dried, and all that other shit, right? Yeah. And then you do specific shit with the meat of the animal. That's it. Where that skin came from, correct? See, y'all niggas don't get Kuma have a history than this Mandela. Who? Kwame Curry? Yeah, mm-hmm. Kwame Kuma. And Kwame Kuma? have a big history that about 2,000 years of Afghan history I've been hidden. 2,000 years? Of Afghan history I've been hidden you know? I've been thrown in the world. Like what? Yeah, I mean, that's like, it. Oh, the history of Kwame Kuma. Like, you guys don't know about it. Yeah. Oh, you know about Nancy Mandela. That's yeah. my dad, but well, I mean, if, 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 there are some cats who really, you really go that. hard about Africa. Well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. I've yeah, never yeah, really, yeah. really went yeah. hard, yeah. hard. Yeah. hard. Yeah. Like I know about Queen yeah. and Zinga. Yeah. I know about yeah. Queen yeah. Sheba. Yeah. I know about yeah. Mansa yeah. Musa. I know about the Shanghai Empire and their wars with Caucasians during the slave trade. Ah. I know about you know yeah. Voodoo and specific tribes I can name out. You know, okay, but. To know all the recent history yeah. and to know, like, I never studied the Idi Amin time oh, period, yeah, real yeah, tough. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, and that was the same time period Kwame was doing his we, thing. Yeah, we, right. Okay. 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 So whatever happened to Idi Amin, they said that nigga just disappeared. Yeah. His body's never been found. Idi Amin. Yeah, did you know that? Idi, Idi Amin, Amin has never been Arabia. found? He went to Saudi Arabia. He went to Saudi Arabia? That's all, yeah. Damn. That's kind of funny. Niggas on the streets in Africa know where that nigga's at. But the Caucasian with his goddamn dee doo dee doo in the sky can't find shit. <laughs> That's goddamn amazing, huh? Don't mind them, they know. Yeah, they don't know nothing. Anymore. They don't know nothing. Anymore. So, um, tell me, tell me, tell me, should we go in about the food, man, of Africa? Yeah, what y'all eat? How y'all eat? Everybody sits down. Yeah, eat, eat, with eat with your hands out of the same bowl. Yeah, yeah. But with a piece of bread. Yeah, and fold your shit in or something, or a little like pita bread or something to fold your food in. Yeah, they do the uh, the food like a pyramid, you know. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> sucking his eat. Every but I mean, you ever think about it? I mean, you know? somebody just could have got done wiping their ass, man, and they just you know, putting their hand. You know, on. No, everybody wants your sign. You know? No, I, I I noticed that earlier at the restaurant, all y'all had a bowl of water right next to your fucking yeah, plate, yeah. and I'm like, what the fuck is y'all niggas doing? <laughs> yeah, they have to wash. You know? So y'all yeah. put y'all like knives and shit and wash your hands. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So. Um, I don't know, man. It'd be metaphysics on it. America, man. Niggas do nasty shit with they fucking hands, man. I don't know what. Who's that? <laughs> no, we, we, sh- we should be eating with our hands. Yeah. You know? This is no, what I'm saying is that. A, <laughs> the energy. A, a lot of Western. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But if I've been fisting a grandma, okay? <laughs> and it goes down in America like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The energy on my hand ain't that good, dog. And I'm putting it right in your pot where you pulling your food out of. You know what I'm saying? It's still in your body. It's still in your body, you know? It's still in your body. Yeah, because... Yeah, they might tell you anything, you know? Because they can say, they can say this, you're going to but die if you, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, evils. This, 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 evils? 
Babylon's. Babylon's? They concluded that evil. Yeah, the evil. Very, very That's what I'm telling you. But see, it's yeah. gotten to a point where they put so much culture inside of America yeah. and in other races that they are now fully caveman, darn. I mean, I mean, deep levels of the Caucasian psyche. Have y'all seen the TV show Hoarding? Or Hoarders? No. You need to see it. Do I have the YouTube up? Yeah, I want to record y'all facial expressions. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to record y'all facial expressions when I got there. Papa, yeah, it's more woe. Yeah, it's more woe. Mm. 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 Let me see here. Let me see what we got here. I'm going to show y'all some of this hoarding. Show y'all some of this. <laughs> Yeah, Uh oh, they setting me up on some shit. What the fuck is going on, man? Oh, I gotta cut off the camera, man. They didn't set me the fuck up, man. Hold on, man. Oh shit, I'm scared, man. I had a feeling y'all niggas was gonna do some goddamn shit. Let me show y'all this shit, man, so you can really see a deep level of the fucking Caucasian psyche, man. <laughs> no, man, you gotta see this shit. You gotta really see this shit, bro. I need to see your facial expression when you first see this shit. Watch this. It's gonna come up right now. I wanna make it big on the screen. Where's the fucking thing at? Come on, where is it at, man? It's coming at up. Least loaded. You got to see this fucking shit, man. You see? When you come up in here, you see all this shit, man? Look at how these motherfuckers are living. I'm talking about maggots everywhere in their houses and roaches and shit. Where? And they be having their children living around this shit, man. Watch this, this, this shit. This, this, this is way. a deep level of the Caucasian psyche, man. This is, they've installed so like, much culture. In the coffee pot. Yeah, maggots in the coffee pot in their home where their children are at. <laughs> are you serious? Yes, bro. This is how people are living right now. And America probably out here too. Because they have so much Caucasian culture downloaded in them yeah. that mm -hmm. their psyche has went to the caveman stage of the cracker. Ain't that some deep ass shit? That's deep than a motherfucker. When you talk about the psyche, you know what I'm saying? It, it's almost like you being around the Chinese so much that these niggas got your original African power dog yeah. and can fly and shit and can do all the original shit, dog. Astral travel and all that. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. I want this shit to play. Y'all got to see this goddamn shit. Hold on. Maybe if I do it up here. Man, they didn't set me up, man. A nigga is not nervous neither. I don't know what the fuck gonna happen. They gonna put some spirits on a nigga. I don't even know their names. <laughs> Y'all gonna like give me that nigga's names, right? Y'all gonna give me the spirits' names at least, right? Shit. Let me see here. Nah, I'm not scared. I'm not, I'm, I'm not scared. I did you don't have to. You don't have to. many rituals. <laughs> I did many rituals. But just with my girls, though, you know, I ain't did no shit. See, look at that shit, dog. Uh -huh. Please. This is their home. <clears throat> that is their home. They live, here. they live in this shit. This is the white man. Fuck. And black people are living like this too in America. They live it this way. Like this with oh. roaches and maggots Why? and flies and rats. Why? And everything else because they're mentally fucking retarded. No, 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 no. They went down to the stage of the caveman. But they don't show this in the news. Man, you don't understand. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Do Africans have pets in their fucking huts? We don't live this kind of life. No, 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 no. Uh -uh. Does, does an African, does anybody in your tribe have a pet in their fucking hut? What is that? Pet? 
Like yeah. you love chicken, we eat chickens. Uh, yeah, but you eat the chickens too. Chicken, live chicken, yeah. Yeah, you'll eat the chicken too, though. Chicken, yeah. Right, right. I'm yeah. talking about, do you have a pet dog in a fucking hunt? Dog love me, I don't. No mean, pet cat? No, we don't. See? So anybody in the fucking conscious they community. Outside, but they're outside. They, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't sleep in the house. Uh, right, you go run. I just sleep dogs and snakes. Yeah, you motherfuckers been Coco on the planet for 2,000 yeah. fucking like, years. Like, 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 uh, 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 what do you call it? Cat. Uh huh. He have a work to do, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you sleep, they go and eat the rats, you yeah, know, around, yeah. around yeah, they kill the rats, yeah, yeah. around yeah. the houses, you yeah, know, yeah. and they kill even snakes. Uh -huh. You understand? Uh -huh. They don't stay in the in the room like the yeah, yeah, in the nasty shit, yeah, man, and be changed. Mm. Wiping the dog's ass and shit. Picking up the dog's doo-doo and shit. You nasty motherfuckers. Anybody in this fucking conscious movement so talking about they got... This way. Black people are living like that as well. <laughs> black women and black men. <clears throat> With children in the home. Home. <laughs> and then the white man says... The white man comes and knocks on the door and says, You gotta clean it up in 30 days. Now what would the African had done? What would the witch doctor have done? He come in somebody's house, come in the hut looking like this. Huh? Mm. He would abandon you out of the tribe, wouldn't he? He wouldn't even fucking discuss. Yeah, Your evil spirits are too deep. Yeah. We're not even going to go there. <laughs> go the fuck three miles away. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's what they do. Yeah. That's what they'll do. Seriously, you ain't bro. even going to waste no time with his spiritual energy trying to fight them demons around your ass. In, in, in our place, mm -hmm. before, when you, when you steal, mm -hmm. you have to go out of the community yeah. Yeah. and build your... You take your family. You when know? you steal, <laughs> how many of you yeah. niggas then stole CDs from another nigga? <laughs> CDs. CDs. <laughs> A fucking rap it. song. You see, man, that's what, man, I'm out of the man, country, man. The system that is <laughs> fucked up. Fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> All right, I'll end it on. These Europeans, they're taking the same kind of shit, they, you know, this sacrificial stuff, you know. They're using human beings to uh, do it. Yeah, come on, bro, this what do you think the military, what do you think the military you know, air, uh, airstrikes and all that yeah, shit is? That's know, all that shit is. Time, yeah, know, they know they the human beings. Yeah. yeah, you got to. I mean, the, the, it, look, all man. All this cutting in hospitals and they, 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 they doing real, <laughs> this kind of transplanting, yeah. Yeah. transplanting and all those things. They, they, Except Take an uh, organ out of one ass yeah. and put it in the other. Yeah. Yeah. They, 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 if you look within, they, they you, stay, and you know what's going on. Hey man, they've had they've had TV shows about that shit where people didn't had like heart transplants from other motherfuckers, and they started picking up the other person's emotions and feelings, and started smelling shit like them, and started doing shit that that other motherfucker was doing. That, that, that's what they do in uh, this uh, uh, Haiti, you know. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. they get a lot of organs, you know, they sell it to China and other, <laughs> other country stuff, you know, and blood, you know, different kind of organs, they do these cosmetics, they use this to do it, you know. Right here, so that's going down yeah, in Hong Kong? Big, big, big business. The top of nigger bones. Yeah, they need they need nigger bones. Yeah, they need it's big nigger bones. More stronger, yeah. More stronger, yeah. Well, stronger nigger bones. Eat good nigga. <laughs> we yeah, get fat nigga. <laughs> we need solid nigger bones, white bones, nigga. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> So yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. So let me say, what, what do you think about Nelson Mandela, man? Let me let me put that out there. What y'all think about Nelson Mandela, and especially the way he did winning? What do you think about that shit? How does Africa feel about Nelson Mandela? Nelson Mandela is already um, twenty something years in prison. You know, they already soft him up. They are giving him the food. <laughs> you know? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think about that shit. Yeah, they gave him the food. Yeah, they fucked yeah. this whole shit up for twenty yeah. years. You eating that shit? They put him on, yeah. and and he's a strong motherfucker. But, yeah. But when he come out, you know, he got rid of his woman. You know? Yeah, and and he did what they said. That's yeah. why they they praise him all the time, time. You know, yeah. they say this nigga is good. good you know? Is this? Yeah. But I'm more he 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 refused to sell out. You know. Uh -huh. So hold on. They say he's president at any time. That's what they say. That's what you. No. What did you just say? You said something about the president. Uh -huh. The Caucasians. Oh. The president Mandela is good. Uh -huh. Is this? All oh, right. He accept the whites to live in South Africa. Oh right, 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 right. Why you come out of history than Mandela? 
Kwame Nkrumah has a big history, but yeah. he never talk about it. Yeah. Kwame who? Kwame Nkrumah. Who is that? You don't know? Zara. <laughs> He's you the see? first president. You don't hear about him. But they had his history. Yeah. He 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 get uh, uh, independence of uh, Ghana. Mm -hmm. The first African to get independence yeah. from Ghana from the, uh, colonialism. You understand? Oh, <laughs> what year was this? You know? 1957. Oh, yeah. So that was during the same time period. Yeah. Eddie Amin exactly. was doing this shit. That's why he's coming together with other other uh, Lumumba, other uh, mm -hmm. uh, African leaders. You mm -hmm. know, he want to unite, unite the whole Africa. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they see this guy is too much. Yeah. And then they was, and then he was doing that right before that. Uh, the Africom came in, huh? Africa came came him just recently. Right. Yeah. So when was he trying to do this whole unification of the whole African? Nineteen fifty seven after he got uh, independent he, he kicked the uh, British, British out, out and he started unifying United you Africa. know. And we're doing very good, good, you know. And they see this guy his agenda was good. Yeah. And now they're using his system for in America. Europe. Yeah, it, Europe. yeah it's, it's his plan. Yeah. His plan they're using now. <laughs> Yeah, he's but, very talented person. But they can't do it. <laughs> they still um, can't do it. So, they don't so, did, did, so, did, so did he use any voodoo? And he from yeah, Benin. Benin is in Ghana. Yeah. He, he used voodoo to get oh. into that position. No, it's bringing it's bringing African rituals, African traditions. You know, traditional yeah. Some, you mm -hmm, know, mm -hmm, together. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because uh, you have to be yourself. You mm -hmm, know, mm -hmm. in order to survive. You right, right, right. Yeah. So Ghana. Ghana uh, is right there on the coast, mm -hmm. so there was a lot of slavery issues that went down, yeah. right? Tell me something. Tell me something about some slavery issues that went down that you may see that you may still see today. Like you know, you got Coca Cola flooded everywhere and shit, and tin shit every goddamn where or what? You know, you know the problem is uh, Ghana is the first place they they, they got uh, independence from these Europeans. Mm -hmm. So now they are using Ghana as a way. For this Illuminati to get fresh, you know, if Ghana accept anything, the other one, a federal African country, all the other African yeah, countries are gonna why, get down. That's why when Obama win election, he have to go to Ghana, Ghana first. You understand? The first country. Yeah, you have to see the symbolism. You have to. He, he go to the the power first, the Vatican. Uh huh. You see the way he went he, to the Queen. Yeah. And then and he, he went, went to, to Ghana. Before he went to Ghana, you know. He have to go and get the permission. Everything he went to the uh, 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 castle. Yeah. Hell to the no! I didn't even know that shit. I didn't know he went to. Ghana. He just want the news. He don't know what's going on. No, I didn't know. No, I mean it have been planned down. Yeah, they they they, they, they plan it down. They, they plan this shit before he came on power. And it's, it's, it's <laughs> even deeper than what we are thinking now. You know, no, okay. they have an agenda he, now. When 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 he came to Ghana, he brought uh, uh, Monsanto in Ghana. Who did Monsanto? Monsanto, yeah. Uh, who uh, President Obama did? No, Obama, yeah. If he brought Monsanto yeah. to Ghana, yeah. then your homeboy in Ghana then got down with him, dog. Of Period. course. They, yeah. they, sometimes they don't know. You know, they say their leaders. Yeah, have, they, they didn't know. cultivate their divinity. You know, they 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 just using their here to to work with it. You right, know? right, 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 right. So it's 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 really crazy. It's very crazy. Yeah, yeah I know the same when, deal. When, you when they came, you yeah. say Ghana can can make food for themselves and they can even export it. Hey know? man, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> in order to have the proper light on you, you are gonna have to make deals with the underworld, and that's what a lot of motherfuckers don't really understand about shining. Is that did Jesus talk to the devil face to face more than once in the Bible? I think he did. There's been several times where Jesus and the devil then, then communicated directly, okay, and they had to make a little deal. The devil approached him with a deal. Jesus didn't take it. The devil approached God with a deal and said, look, man, I'm going to take this nigga Job and do whatever the fuck I want to. Let's see if this nigga going to stay ground and fuck with you. You know, I'm going to fuck his ass up. You know, that was the story in the book, right? You're going to have to make some deals with the underworld, man. And that's what y'all niggas don't understand, man. And that's why I understand why witch doctors be running around here with their eyes rolled in the back of their head. And they stay liberated the whole entire time. Because the nigga born with too many fucking voices in his shit. And you got to control that fucking shit before it controls you. You dig what I'm saying? That's the whole point to this shit. So, let me see what else. They got six flags in Africa yet? Y'all got six flags down there yet? Six flags. Yeah. 
in the flock? <laughs> <laughs> no, amusement park. Uh, Y'all got no me park? Yeah, amusement park. For Festival what? rides. For what? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, Africans in Africa don't be smiling. Africans uh -huh. in America be smiling. <laughs> And they do that for the hustle, nigga. That only do it for the hustle. You see how aggressive the language sounds, man? Black women couldn't handle no nigga talking to them like that. Black women in America, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, not looking at me. Not looking at me. That bitch would not be able to handle none of that. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. That's enough for the interviewing right now, man. Hope y'all niggas has learned a lot about the real elements of Africa in this motherfucker. Let me see here. I'm going to run it for a couple of minutes. We got. Uh, I got about 14 more minutes on here. We're going to run it. So let me see here. What else? What else? What else can I ask? So, What's up? this Kwame Kuma have a history than this Mandela. Who? Kwame Curry? Yeah, mm -hmm. Kwame Kuma. Kwame Kuma? have a big history that about 2,000 years of African history I've been hidden. 2,000 years? Of African history I've been hidden you know? been from the world. Like what? Yeah, I mean, like. like Oh, uh, the history of Kwame Kuma. Like you guys don't even know about him. Yeah. Oh, you know about Nancy Mandela. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, if, 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 there are some cats who really, you really go not. hard about Africa, well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I've not, not, never not, really, not, really went not, 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 hard, not, hard. Like, I know about Queen yeah. Nzinga, yeah. I know yeah. about Queen yeah. Sheba, yeah. I know about yeah. Mansa yeah. Musa, yeah. I know about the Shanghai Empire and their wars with Caucasians during the slave trade. Ah. I know about, you know, yeah. voodoo and specific tribes I can name out, you know. Okay, but, to know all the recent history yeah. and to know, like, I never studied the Idi Amin time oh, period, yeah, real yeah, tough. Yeah. Okay. I, and that was the same time period Kwame was doing his really, thing. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay. Nah, 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 so nah, whatever nah, happened nah, to Idi Amin, they said that nigga just disappeared. Yeah, yeah. His body's never been found. Idi Amin. Yeah, did you know that? Idi, Idi, Idi Amin has never been Arabia. found? He went to Saudi Arabia. He went to Saudi Arabia? Yeah. Damn. That's kind of funny. Niggas on the streets in Africa know where that nigga's at. But the Caucasian with his goddamn dee doo dee doo in the sky can't find shit. <laughs> That's goddamn amazing, huh? Don't mind them, they know. Yeah, they don't know nothing. Man. They don't know nothing. Man. So, um, tell me, tell me, tell me. Should we go in about the food, man, of Africa? Yeah, what y'all eat? How y'all eat? Everybody sits down. Yeah, we eat, eat, with the hands. eat with your hands yeah. out of the same bowl. Yeah, yeah. But with a piece of bread, yeah. you fold your shit in or something, or a little like pita bread or something to fold your food in. Yeah, they do the f and the food like a pyramid, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> sucking his eat. Every but I mean, you ever think about it? I mean, you know? somebody just could have got done wiping their ass, man, and they just no. putting their hand. You know, in Everybody was just signing. No, I, I, I noticed that earlier at the restaurant, all y'all had a bowl of water right next to your fucking plate. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck is y'all niggas doing? <laughs> yeah, they have to wash. You know? So y'all put y'all like knives and shit and wash your hands. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so, um, I don't know, man. It'd be metaphysics on it. America, man, niggas do nasty shit with they fucking hands, man. I don't know what... Who's ass? <laughs> no, we, we, sh we should be eating with our arms. Yeah. You know? this is no, what I'm saying is that a, <laughs> the energy. A, a lot of Western. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But if I've been fisting a grandma, okay, <laughs> and it goes down in America like that, yeah, yeah, the yeah. energy on my hand ain't that good, dog. And I'm putting it right in your pot where you pulling your food out of. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's still in your body. It's still in your body. You know? It's still in your body. Yeah, because yeah, they might tell you anything. You know? Because they can say, they can say, this, you're going to Babylon, die if you, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, evils. They, they the evils. Babylon's. Babylon's? They can't they're evil. Yeah, they're evil. Very, very That's what I'm telling you. But see, it's <laughs> gotten to a point where they put so much culture inside of America and in other races that they are now fully caveman, darn. I mean, I mean, deep levels of the Caucasian psyche. Have y'all seen that TV show Hoarding? Or Hoarders? No. You need to see it. Do I have the YouTube up? Yeah, I want to record y'all facial expressions. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to record y'all facial expressions when I got down. Papa, yeah, you are wrong. Yeah, you are wrong. Mumbe the bushing. Eh, what now you talking about? Nana Sawa. Eh? Nana Sawa. Eh. Yeah, I think.
Let me see here. Let me see what we got here. I'm going to show y'all some of this party. Mm. Eh? Eh? Nice one, Show y'all some of this. Crazy shit. Uh oh, they setting me up on some shit. What the fuck is going on, man? Oh, I gotta cut off the camera, man. They didn't set me the fuck up, man. Hold on, man. Oh shit. I'm scared, man. I had a feeling y'all niggas was gonna do some goddamn shit. Let me show y'all this shit, man, so you can really see a deep level of the fucking Caucasian psyche, man. No, man, you gotta see this shit. You gotta really see this shit, bro. I need to see your facial expression when you first see this shit. Watch this. It's gonna come up right now. I want to make it big on the screen. Where's the fucking thing at? Come on, where is it at, man? It's coming up. It's loading. You got to see this fucking shit, man. You see? When you come up in here, you see all this shit, man? Look at how these motherfuckers are living. I'm talking about maggots everywhere in their houses and roaches and shit. Where? And they be having their children living around this shit, man. Watch this, this shit. This, this, this is a deep level of the Caucasian psyche, man. This is they've installed Better so much culture in the coffee pot. Yeah, maggots in the coffee pot in their home where their children are at. <laughs> are you serious? Yes, bro. This is how people are living right now in America probably out here too because they have so much Caucasian culture downloaded in them yeah. that mm -hmm. their psyche has went to the caveman stage of the cracker. Ain't that some deep ass shit? That's deep than a motherfucker. When you talk about the psyche, you know what I'm saying? It, it's almost like you being around the Chinese so much that these niggas got your original African power dog yeah. that can fly and shit and can do all the original shit, dog. Astral travel and all that. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. I want this shit to play. Y'all got to see this goddamn shit. Hold on. Maybe if I do it up here. Man, they didn't set me up, man. A nigga is not nervous, neither. I don't know what the fuck finna <laughs> happen. They finna put some spirits on a nigga. I don't even know their names. <laughs> Y'all gonna give me the niggas' names, right? Y'all gonna give me the spirits' names at least, right? Shit. Let me see here. Nah, I'm not scared. I know. I'm, I'm not scared. I done did you don't have to. You don't have to. many rituals. <laughs> I done did many rituals. But just with my girls, though, you know, I ain't did no shit. See, look at this shit, dog. <laughs> Please. This is their home. <clears throat> that is their home. They live, in. they live in this shit. This is the white man. Fuck. And black people are living like this too in America. They live it this way. Like this with oh. roaches and maggots Why? and flies and rats. Why? And everything else because they're mentally fucking retarded. No, no, no. They went down to the stage of the caveman. But they don't show this in the news. Man, you don't understand. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Do Africans have pets in their fucking huts? We don't live this kind of life. No, 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 no. Uh. Does, does an African, does anybody in your tribe have a pet in their fucking hut? What is that? Pet? Like yeah. we have chicken, we have chickens. Uh, yeah, but you eat the chickens too. Chicken, live chicken, yeah. Yeah, you'll eat the chicken too though. Chicken, yeah. Right, have. right. I'm yeah. talking about, do you have a pet dog in a fucking hut? No, love me, I don't no pet cat? No, we don't. See? So anybody in the fucking but conscious they community. Pet, but they're outside. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't sleep in the house. Uh, right, you go run. I just you sleep dogs and snakes. Yeah, you motherfuckers been Cocoa on the cheese. planet for 2,000 yeah. fucking like, years. Like, 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 uh, 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 what do you call it? Cat. Uh huh. He have a work to do, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you sleep, they go and eat the rats, you yeah, know, around, yeah. around yeah, they kill the rats. Around, yeah, yeah, around the houses, you yeah, know. Yeah. And they kill even snakes. Uh -huh. You understand? Uh -huh. They don't stay in the in the mm -hmm. room like they Yeah, yeah, the and the nasty shit. Yeah, man. And be changed. Mm -hmm. Wiping the dog's ass and shit. Picking up the dog's doo-doo and shit. You nasty motherfuckers. Anybody in this fucking conscious movement so talking about they got... This way. Black people are living like that as well. <laughs> black women and black men. <clears throat> With children in the home. Who? Oh. <laughs> and then the white man says... The white man comes and knocks on the door and said, You gotta clean it up in 30 days. Now what would the African had done? 
What would the witch doctor have done? He come in somebody's house, come in the hut looking like this. Huh? He would abandon you out of the tribe, wouldn't he? He wouldn't even fucking discuss. Your evil spirits are too deep. We're not even going to go there. Go the fuck three miles away. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. What they do? That's what they'll do. You ain't even going to waste no time with his spiritual energy trying to fight them demons around your ass. In, in, in our place, mm -hmm. before, when you, when you steal, mm -hmm. you have to go out of the community and, yeah. and build your... You take your family. You when know? you steal, <laughs> how many of you yeah. niggas then stole CDs from another nigga? <laughs> CDs. <laughs> CDs. A fucking rap see. song. You see, man, that's what, man, I'm out of the yeah, country, man. The system is <laughs> fucked up. Fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> All right, I ended on cucumber soap and, you know, uh, shea butter and all that other shit. It's too bad. The American Negro thinks shea butter is the miracle boy. Shea butter is good. Yeah, shea but I mean that's powerful yeah. tree. And yeah. shea butter is. Shea butter. I just ordered about three pounds of that shit before I left. Uh -huh. But the thing about it is, these niggas don't got no creativity. They don't have creativity. Right. So what they do is, is they buy a whole bunch of shea butter and a whole bunch of soaps and herbs. They think they're gonna sell that shit and make some money. You see, niggas have been broke for so long in America, man, that they don't got no drive to make know. no motherfucking money, man. They've been brioche. The African has dreads down to his ass in a whole nother continent full of yellow faces, and the niggas are hustling. What the fuck is wrong with y'all niggas? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, don't even let me start about the African in America. Them motherfuckers are driving goddamn Benzes like that nigga out of Hotel Rwanda. With the cigar and shit. <laughs> hey, hey, and they put that shit in that movie for a reason. Did you pay attention to how they put that shit in that movie, that Hotel Rwanda? Have you seen that movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You seen the movie? Yeah, yeah. So you know how they had Dave Chappelle with the suit and yeah, acting yeah. like he was on, yeah, and they yeah. drug that nigga through the shit hole. Yeah, that's how the spirit world works in Africa, nigga. You got voodoo in your system whether you know it or like it or not. That's what a lot of niggas don't realize in America. That voodoo rules your life hands down. Yeah. It Terrible, that ship don't mean shit. That slave ship didn't do it. God damn. Okay? You fuck around with like the original spiritual realm I was talking about with his homeboy that passed in Georgia. You can't split your family, man. Africa don't respect that shit. Like for instance, when I'm talking about the woman that has the two babies and how his tribe would treat that, they expect that woman to be a widow. Correct? They don't expect those children to still be alive. I mean, the children's father to still be alive, correct? The kid's father. If, if the kid, away, right? If the yeah. kid's father is alive still, yeah. but not with her, how would your tribe look at? How would the tribe look at that? No, they div divorce or break up or. See, now we talking European, cause ain't no divorce back in the day. You see what I'm saying? When I read this book in the 1920s, they didn't have no goddamn. Divorce wasn't implemented on the tribes yet. Yeah. So, basically it was put on the rule of, bitch, you didn't confirm with your pussy from the jump. And you didn't go through the African marriage ritual. And you was just fucking around getting some dick on the side. And you got caught pregnant. That sloppy hoe shit. And we don't respect sloppy hoe shit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. See, yeah. my father. Yeah, see, okay. see, he had to explain it to him in African. Okay. Now he see what I'm talking I about. Okay, now I understand your point. <laughs> you are like saying, like when a lady sleep a man, they have a, a child, right? Mm -hmm. So what happened? Why they're not married? Right. Okay, what they do is that the family of the man and the family of the lady, they come together mm -hmm. to union these people together mm -hmm. because they have a child. Mm -hmm. They have to marry because of they the have child. To marry. They have to marry yeah, because of the child. <laughs> now, 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 let's go into a nigger zone. To, what happened if they don't want to marry and the sex was just good? 
They were just friends. They don't want to be serious like that. No, they, they oh, that. no, don't we don't have that. Have no, that. No, 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 no. Oh, the dick went in the pussy. Yeah, no. Oh, you married a bitch, yeah. nigga. <laughs> oh, yeah. You yeah. bent over for him? You yeah. love him? Yeah. Oh, you bent over for him. You married. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, right. Together. Right. Now, look. look. Go ahead. My father can say, I have some woman for you. Mm -hmm. I think she's good. You have, you, to marry her. you have to marry her. I have to do it. You have to marry her. I have to. If your father comes in the house, yeah. Yeah. this bitch could be 300 pounds, patches of hair on her exactly. back. I have to do it. Do you understand me? <laughs> <laughs> have to marry her. Do you understand? This is rule. This is the man. Yeah. This is no, This is man. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? This is man. And the reason why I had to go back over the question was because I knew the answer was correct. Yeah. And, and, and what you so stated. Bring them together. Right. But I also knew the first answer that you stated was correct if she came as a widow. Yeah. If she came as a widow, then the children are going to be respected. She's going to be respected. Yeah, problem, and everything is going to be lifted yeah, up correctly. The right. The problem is if the man my is a widow. don't like, he'll run. Right. If he run, uh -huh. then they'll take care of the children. Everybody in the community would take, take care of the children. children. If he's a coward, yeah, if yeah, he yeah. runs from yeah. the scenario, everybody would take care yeah. of the children. children They're not going to disrespect yeah, her. Yeah. But she would have to be married to him. No, they, she already, he already left, so he can't marry her. Oh, so they can have the sex without the marriage. After he has baby uh -huh. and he don't want to marry her, he don't like uh -huh. what he would do is run, to run from the business. Right, but what I'm saying is, is that there's no individual information that comes into the tribe that says you can't be out here fucking until you're married of course they have oh there are tribes like that yeah. that say you got to stay a virgin until yeah. marriage yeah yeah, yeah. okay now there's a lot of tribes like yeah. that so what how what would your percentage number be on africa would it be 90 percent 80 percent 70 percent of africa is like that it's like currently yeah currently before it's more but you know now uh -huh. Due to television programs, uh, all of that shit. Right, 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 right. People Something. start traveling. Right. Education, Western right. education. Right, right. Influencing people, you know. Right. When they go to school, right. They practice things mm -hmm. in their boarding houses. Why the parents are not there to control? So, so how? What's the percentage of tribes that still hold it down, hardcore like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. It because would be around sixty percent, seventy percent of tribes in Africa. What you think? Yeah, no, especially in the northern parts. There are more of this thing, yeah. but those in the big cities, uh -huh. they have lost up most of their culture. Yeah. Uh -huh. But those in the countryside, like in the northern side, they keep the rules they down. Yeah. They still practice it. And they're and powerful. Oh, yeah. But those in the more way more powerful now because the powerful. because the African the other African energy didn't decrease, yeah. so it intensifies yeah. the other ones. Yeah. yeah, I know, I know the deal. So, it brings more spirits around them. You know, those start. Going to this Western education system, mm -hmm. influences, brainwash, mm -hmm. you know, the kind of dressing and exposing their self and all those things. Mm -hmm. These are the effects currently. This hey generation. man, I came across a news yeah. article of a male prostitute from Nigeria talking about he yeah. had sex with damn near all the major officials, male the male officials of the state. And then I saw another picture. Of a whole bunch of Africans wearing the white wigs like the goddamn they just, old school they, jerseys. They just want to proper gandize yeah. this in the in the mind of people. Right, yeah. right. Like Media. Africa now is getting uh, gay. We're getting uh, more European. Yes, yeah. Right. Now now we just listen. When you turn on your news and you see Bush down in Africa or you see the Pope visit in Africa and these niggas, these African tribes are dancing all around and acting a fucking fool about it. What do you think and feel about that shit? Man, that's crazy. When you see the Africans trying to embrace No, they they, they know how yeah. to position things. things. You know? mm -hmm. These people are this very good in smart uh, mm -hmm. to influence to capture, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, to through media. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, media, media. They, they know the media. how to do this. Mm -hmm. you know? But still there is a hard core people, people who, who know who really are about keep the tradition alive. You mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. You say, okay, what you say, we will do it. If you go, we do our own. You so know? And, and I'd have to say that's probably Ghana that got a lot of sh strong core because y'all so center in the in the uh, no Ghana is right no, off the coast. It's not Ghana. Ghana is the coast. Like Benin, Benin and, and Togo, you know Togo, yeah. the northern region. They ain't finna fuck with that Benin. Yeah. They, they Benin, yeah. You know Benin. 
Dark, I study. Uh, they ain't finna history. fuck with no Benin, dog. I study everything underneath uh, the sun and above the sun. Benin, Benin is the home of voodoo. <laughs> okay, matter of fact, voodoo comes from the tribe, yeah. the Fonz. Correct? The yeah. Fonz of Bafu. Yeah. Correct? My, my, family, my, my family came from Benin. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Benin, <laughs> boy, I'm telling you, y'all niggas don't want to fuck around with none of that shit over there. People. And powerful. They don't want to fuck around with no. They can't. They can't deal with watching no nigga dancing and he got a fucking cow hanging out of his mouth, a cow's head. They don't understand no. the spiritual realm. You see, look, man. One thing I know about an African and their understanding of a spiritual realm that is greater than any other civilization on the planet. The only motherfuckers that I could really compare to the solid African understanding would have to be the Mayans. The Mayans, yeah. And the reason why is from the from the masks that they make the masks is the key point point. Yeah. and the way they can handle dealing with blood and dealing with human sacrifices and all that other shit Ogun takes human sacrifices doesn't he when you fuck around with a certain level Paolo Mayambe takes nothing but fucking I mean you want to fuck with the real power you gonna have to fuck with human sacrifices and that shit is gonna have to be volunteered you, too you nigga to, you have to